Well, I'm Bruce Michael Bongo for the caucus of the Nyanza activists. And now, today, what we saw indeed can only be likened to what the biblical Pilate said that check him, go and crucify him, and as for me, I do not see any reason that would warrant any action against him. The same applies today. I do not see anything wrong with regarding the Chago. That is the reality. And what we want to put into for today is that when the drums were being beaten, when this was being given out by William Ruto, the same man who brought the dreaded word called Mambo Ni Matatu, of which the third one is death. I really do find it a great abduality for us to have the small boys and little girls in parliament, in the name of the legislators, who are folding their arms as if nothing is happening. And on moving forward, one thing that must come out clearly and to the judiciary, we've just seen the Chief Justice Mata Kome today swear in his village mate, his cl her classmate, and her tribe into the office of the Deputy President. Indeed, the reality has done that what has happened today is an indictment to the independence of the judiciary. It indeed casts what is called aspersions on to the very, very constitutional jurisprudence of this country. We are not happy as a nation. To those who see beyond, we are not really happy. And I want to talk to the Gen Z's of this country that no matter what this government does, no matter the pecuniaries that are dangled to you, even if this government will today decide to now give you the tricks on how to pet a perfume fine, I tell you that it is not right to support their cause. A government that is led by William Ruto, who says that Museveni is his mentor, it's not a government that can bring anything on the table. We are talking about Adani today, Adani which is being used to fleece the resources of the public from the public coffers, whose main lawyer is the son of the president. Really, we cannot take that. And I would want to move on by saying that what would you expect you on the sidelines who never really fought so hard for this government. If a whole deputy president who fought so hard, who fought the machineries of the time then, is now out on baseless accusations. Today we are seeing a situation where we had Maina Njenga at a stadium in Mount Kenya West, which was packed to capacity, which was full to capacity. And today, we are seeing the county commissioner of Nyeri being transferred. Why is that? The county commissioner of, 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 of Kiambu also being transferred just because people are coming out in one body politic to sing slogans of redemption. People want a country where they can enjoy what is called economic freedom. We have seen a scenario where pastors who prayed for this government to power, who are Kikuyu in, by tribe, are now being ostracized from this same, same regime. Some are being told, like Maina Jenga, that their churches are built on lands that were acquired illegally, while they were not illegal by the time they were praying for this government to power. That is not right. I have seen a situation where the clubs in Mount Kenya today are being locked because there are DJs there are playing songs of redemption. We really do not like it. It is really sad and it is really bad. And to the Kenyan populace who are thinking that this is right, I want to tell you today that this kind of politics of us against them or us versus them 
is what has taken us to this kind of a situation. Because we only wake up in the morning to smell the coffee when it is too late that we elected a rogue government in place. And that is really not right. You do not have to drink the, all the water in the Indian Ocean to realize that it is salt. The cracks are on the wall. You can see everything is not going right. And on behalf of the people who see it on the other side, I would say that the best weapon in the hands of this regime are the silent people that we have today. I, plus the like-minded people, are going to take the place of opposition to oversight this government. I do not dispute that there are so many people who are also on the side of the government. Apologies of the government are there, but they will come to buy our words one day. I want to say that not all hyenas would climb and pounce on the same branch. I decide to be on the other branch. And on this attack, I would want to say clearly that we also equally in the same measure demand the release of Aoko, Maverick Aoko. Whatever she did, we, I think we have the court of law. But if we have lost trust in that, we demand for her release, dead or alive. Do not want to imagine that. Let her be brought so that we, the Kenyan people, we, the populace, the activists, can realize that our own daughter, daughter of the Lake Maverick Aoko, is out. One thing we will not buy is fear. And indeed, what must come out clearly is that there is nothing like silent obedience. There is no total obedience to this. We are totally against this kind of totalitarianism. What Mata Kohome has done today is a total indictment to the rule of law. The laws, the rules of natural justice. And we are taking Kenya to a scenario where our own jurisdiction cannot be used for benchmarking and cannot be used anywhere in terms of compliance or in terms of, 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 of you know, relating to any type of a judgment. It is wrong, it is bad, it is sad. I stand for the truth and we are moving on forward by saying that you cannot decide today to ensure that Kindiki is in office whilst we have got a litigation against the impeachment. It is very unfair for Gachagua. And I would want to really wind up by saying that if you can feel pain, then you are a person. But if you can feel someone else's pain the way I feel pain for Gachagua, then you are a human being. What happened today is not right. But totally, let us start by the threshold. Gachagua was not to be out of office in the first instance. The best thing that should have been in place is that if William Ruto realized that it is now untenable, marking from his own words today that for the past two years he's been talking to himself, then he should have resigned and let us go to another election or rather have someone else, even the speaker, to take us to the new level till 2027. For now, I do not think there is any other better candidate. The best candidate was Rikati Chagua, who was elected together with William Bruto. What we have to put into for today is that we are not in the old 1963 constitution. We are in a new constitution. And in the new constitution, if you want to vie for presidency, you pick a running mate and you go as a pair to the populace of Kenya to be elected or rejected together. Well, they were elected together. Let it be so. And if not so, we go to the streets. And that is it. Regarding Gachago was the best. Actually, we need checks and balances. We do not need someone who is going to nurse the president. When we look into the persona of Kindiki, Kindiki was the lawyer of Mr. William Ruto in the ICC. He knows too much about William Ruto. Kindiki is the one who ordered the suit to kill. 
against the Gen Zs. We do not expect this anything better in this government. All that is going to happen now is going to cause mayhem to us. Those who want to celebrate today are going to be with us on the streets tomorrow. One thing that you must have to know is that Kachago is doing what is right. When he said that people are, are being overtaxed in Kenya, that is right. Who does not know? A president today has become a puppet. A puppet to an extent that today he is an agent taking our people to Saudi Arabia to go and do venial jobs, house, co house course for the people of Saudi Arabia. Whereas he's bringing Nadani here to come and manage the airport and employ Indians here. And the aboriginals of Kenya, who are the taxpayers, whose money is going to be used, he's supposing that they should be taken elsewhere to be domestic workers. It is very wrong. I am against that.